Welcome to our 14th video with data structures and algorithms, and we're going to talk about heaps. So a heap is a nearly complete binary tree where each child node is less than or equal to its parent node or greater than or equal to its parent node, giving us a max or min heap. And when we um, employ these kinds of constraints on a tree, right, um, we get these these nice short trees, which are really good for searching and for, for a lot of things. Um, so you can see here's, if we're going to search through this kind of a binary tree, right, this is a binary tree, just has one node on the, on the left, really, just none of them have right child nodes. We'd have to search through every single one of these to get to this node to do whatever we wanted with this node. Same thing here, we'd have to search through almost every single node. And here, right, this is just a binary tree, just want to make a point that we've got trees here. And we only have to search through the height of the tree when we keep this kind of a property. So an example of a max heap right, would be like this. Each child node right, is less than or equal to its parent node. Right? Each one is less than or equal to. And so <clears throat> let's do an example. Let's try to make this a max heap by using our function max heapify. So the idea here is that we're going to go from each subtree, right? We're going to go from the bottom subtree and heapify this, this subtree by itself. And then we'll go to the next one and we'll uh, heapify this subtree. Then we'll go to the next one and, you know, heapify this one and heapify this and heapify this. And <clears throat> what I should do really quick is number these, right? This is one, two, three... Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Okay, we'll see why that when we do build heap. But, anyways, <clears throat> so the idea was, right, we start from these subtrees, right, this one first, and this one second. That's why I have the numbers. Okay, and we're going to go through all the way up to the top of the tree and heapify each one, and hopefully we end up with a max heap at the end, right? So let's do this. So <clears throat> we start here and we take the larger of the two child nodes and we swap it with the parent node, right? If we need to, that is. In this case, clearly we have a child node 90 that is larger than the parent node. So we are going to swap those two. Okay, 90 and 27. So 90 and 27. Okay, and now this is a max heap right here. This little subtree is a max heap. Each of the child nodes is less than or equal to the parent node. Let's go to the next one. And now we find that uh, this is not a max heap, right? Because we have a child node here that is greater than the parent node. So we swap those two, right? So we've got 57 and 30. Okay, so now this is a max heap, so we're good. Now we go to the next one, and here, clearly, uh, both child nodes are greater than the parent node, so we need to take the larger of the two, which is 20, and swap it with the parent. Okay, so that's 20 and 5 get swapped. And now we go to the next subtree, which is right here. And we can see that both are larger than the parent. Both child nodes are larger than the parent. So we take the larger of the two, which is 90, and we swap them, right? 90 and 16 get swapped. And now, if you can see this, we have created an issue here. Now we, we swapped these two, but there's a tree under here, and we have broken the heap property of the child nodes being less than or equal to the parent node. So we need to heapify this one really quick to keep that property of our max heap. So we take the larger of the two, right, which is 27. 27 is uh, larger than 16, so we need to swap those. 16. And so now we have kept our uh, heap property so far, right? So we're good there. So this is now a max heap, and this continues to be a max heap. So now we're done with this subtree, right? And we're done with this entire subtree as well. 
And now we need to go to the last subtree, right, which is up here, this top one. And we take the larger of the two, right, and we swap it with the parent because the parent, because uh, this is not a max heap. So we swap 90 and 1. And just as before, now we have broken that property in this entire subtree, right, or at least in, in this subtree, that is. And so we need to do that with this. So we take the, we heapify this one and we take the larger of the two. A child nodes, which is 57, and then we swap it with the parent. So 57 and 1. And once again, we have now heapified this one, but we have broken the heapified property here. So we take the larger of the two child nodes and swap it with the parent. Whoops. Right, which is 30. So we swap 30 and 1. And now, <clears throat> We are done with, with our heapify uh, function here, and we have successfully created a max heap. So each child node right, is less than or equal to its parent node. Right? Each child node here is less than or equal to its parent node, less than or equal to, less than or equal to, and less than or equal to.